Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 21-22 uh, Panini Donruss Soccer Hobby Edition 2 Box random country, random country Break number 29 There's all the countries right there All cards ship Big thanks to this group here for getting in on it There's the team right there Good luck Let's roll it, randomize it 8 times Names and countries 5 and a 3 1 2 Three. An eighth and final time. We got Jens down to Jose. Five and a three, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eighth and final time. We got Poland down to Korea. All right, you end with Poland, Stephen with the Netherlands, Rick with Germany, Robert with Argentina, Jason with Belgium, Robert with Italy, Jens with the United States, up 2 0 on the Honduras right now in the uh, some World Cup qualifying here. Jeremy with Spain, Carlos with France, Jeremy with uh, Uruguay, Robert with Colombia and Brazil, Rick with Mexico, Stephen with Portugal, Kevin with Sweden, Norway, Croatia, Robert with England, and Jose with Korea. Let's alphabetize by country, and we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have this uh, two-box break. No kabooms yet. Be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done, so that list right there for break 29 remains the same. Here on 2 2 22. The deuces are wild today. Thanks, everybody, for making this happen. Looking for that. I've not seen that yet. Not in this case. The United States up 2 0. I think this was an important win for them to keep them in the hunt for a World Cup spot later this year, which is. Which is uh, in the in November now, yes, that is uh, that Bush clash is going to be here in L.A. If I'm not mistaken, huh? If I should, maybe uh, maybe I'll try to procure some, some tickets for it. But I'll bet they're sold out already. But yeah, I'll definitely definitely be watching it. Oh, is it Sunday? I work on Sunday. Well, they'll definitely be watching it on Sunday. There's nothing else. There's no, uh, there's no football. Pro Bowl, I guess, but we'll definitely be watching that on Sunday. Maybe a little golf, some basketball should be on. I mean, the, the track looks awfully tiny. <laughs> So we'll see how they how how they how they squeeze everybody in there. <laughs> Logan is Kyle Bush as the winner. What about Kurt? All right. So all cards ship. So we'll breeze through these the paper though. Let's try to find their Chrome equivalents. There's Dominic Calvert-Lewin to 199. Press proof for the three Lions, England, Robert. England has a pretty, pretty good young squad that has the potential to, to win it all.
should be a really good World Cup, actually. I'm looking forward to it. We got uh, Lataro Martinez, 22 out of 25. Nice black parallel here for Argentina. Robert. No, Kurt stinks is Logan. Sam's got Sam's got Kyle Larson winning a different Kyle. Is he good on those those little short tracks? Luis Suarez. And we got Zlatan Ibrahimovic to one ninety-nine. Press proof for Sweden, Kevin. Zlatan. Kaboom! Zhao Felish. One of the up and coming stars for Portugal. That's awesome. Uh, Stephen Flat with Portugal. Nice. Boom. That's a cool looking card. There he is right there. Him along with his, uh, with, with his teammate Diogo Jota, who's been playing well for my club Liverpool. Portugal is a pretty strong side too. This might be, might be Cristiano Ronaldo's last year, last World Cup cycle that is. There's Duje one to ninety nine for Korea. That'll be for Jose. There's Stephen Flat. He's happy. Goal. There's a uh, Frederick. Uh, Mitch Joe. I'm going to go with that. To 64 out of 99 for Kevin and Norway. Not Ronaldo, but you'll take it. It could, could be new, new Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, Kyle Larson did grow up on, on, on some short tracks in California. Okay, so maybe maybe he'll be fine with that. There's Jordan Henderson, Kit Kings. Hendo going to Robert. Harry Kane for England. And there's a Rafael Santos Bore, 310 out of 349 for Colombia. That'll be for Robert. Brian Reynolds, rated rookie, hollow for the United States. That'll be for Jens. Ooh, and a redemption? Interesting. I don't think I've ever... I've, we've done... We've ripped, ripped a lot of these boxes. I don't think I've seen a redemption.
right, let's uh, let's pull up the checklist. Honor soccer. What do I think of the Washington Commanders? It's not. It's not bad. Is it? I don't know if it's great. I feel like if they were if they were gonna go with that sort of military type of thing, you would go like generals, right? I think someone mentioned that yesterday too. Why not the Washington generals, like General George Washington? You can have a George Washington mascot running around there too. All right, the redemption is gonna be Mason Mount, signature series blue. Mason Mount. He plays for a blue team. He plays for Chelsea. And he's from England. So that'll be for Robert. Nice auto. Nice one, Robert. All right. Second box. Someone would have ended up finding generals offensive, you're guessing? Is that, is that any more or less offensive than, than commanders? What name is, what name is better slash worse? Or what, what name's better, Commanders or Guardians? Cleveland has the Guardians. The Washington Generals used to play the Harlem Globetrot. Oh, maybe that was a copyright thing. Washington Generals used to play the Harlem Globetrot all the time, Steve's saying, and lose every time. So maybe that wasn't good. I would have gone with uh, the Washington Hogs. I, I was I was I was talking about this yesterday. That was the that was the name of their old uh, offensive line, I believe. Their legendary Washington offensive line. Oh, and there's a Mike Tower saying there's a New Jersey Generals in, in the USFL that Donald Trump, a team that Donald Trump tried to buy. So yeah, maybe the Generals are locked up in some sort of copyright thing. What would be too close to the Seattle Seahawks? Oh, I, not Hawks, Hogs. H O G S. That's why I see some uh, some Washington fans wearing like like uh, like pig masks and stuff like that, which would be which would be a cute mascot for the kids. There's Eden Hazard for Belgium to 199. That'll be for Jason. Yeah, I heard that. Jeff, Fish, Jeff Fisher back in the coaching game in the USFL reboot. <laughs> yeah, Washington Boss Hogs would be great too. I don't know if they'd be able to use that, but there's... Pedro Neto, 18 out of 99 for Portugal. That'll be for Steven. Yeah. 
I'm overhearing uh, Josh on whatnot talking about the Washington football team name as well. I thought they would incorporate more, keep incorporating like the, the red part of it somewhere, like Red Tails or Red Hawks or something like that. Red something. And guess not. Where does all that uh where does all that old stationery go? I guess it's been gone for a couple a couple seasons already. We got press proof. Uh Josko Vardiol to three forty nine for Croatia. That'll be for Kevin. There's a nice auto coming up. It's Kevin De Bruyne. He's pretty good. Beautiful game autograph. That is for Jason and Belgium. Danielle Malin, 61 out of 99 for the orange. Seen flat. It's a cool parallel. See, Birch is reminding us that Trump did buy and was responsible for the breakup of the USFL. There's a 30 for 30 on it. Yeah, I seem to remember that 30 for 30. Rex just read the MLBPA dropped the bonus pool allotment from 105 to 100. So is that getting closer to what the owners want? Maybe we're getting closer to baseball happening. If they're making those concessions. <laughs> Steve Bird sings. Washington Commandos would have been, would have been a, a cool name. There's Lorenzo Insigni, 74 out of 149. Forza Zuri, Robert, with Italy. Kit Series, DeAndre Yedlin, who I think is back in, uh, I think he's back in, in the MLS now after spending some time overseas. That'll be for the United States, Yens. I mean, is I, I, I don't know if the number is necessarily what, what you focus on, Rex. I think it's the fact that they're, that they're willing to lower that number. Right, that has that seems to have greater meaning than uh, there's a little bend in that corner there. See that? I don't know. It's, it's a press proof, but there you go, Stephen. Sorry about that. It's probably from the packaging packaging level. But yeah, I, I hope they do get 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 their act together, Rex. Because for the casual fan, for you know, for you and I, you know, we're not making millions of dollars. You know, like so, this is billionaires arguing with millionaires, and you know, while the rest of us are just like, come on, let's just get some baseball going. So it's. I mean, I'm I'm certainly on the players' side for sure. There's another bum corner there. 
Must be that must be that one pack. And that, my friends, is that. We did get the kaboom, so just keep that in mind going forward. I know a lot of the same people are buying into these, uh, in, uh, have, have been buying into these Donner soccer breaks. Just keep in mind the kaboom has been pulled, but that doesn't mean there's not other great stuff in there. It's a pretty solid checklist, and it's the, it's the road to the World Cup, so it should be a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of uh, fun this year talking about soccer breaking soccer, and watching the World Cup together at the end of the year. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one, jazpyscasebreaks.com.